Hello friends, welcome to online study for you. This is Pratik Srivastava here and now I am going to discuss few of the important question for the TCS NQT phase 2 exam and TCS NQT phase 2 exam the length of the questions will be more but the questions will be very simple friends. So the first question which I am going to solve is from the topic time and distance. So the first question from the topic time, speed and distance friends, time, speed and distance. And this kind of questions will be very important for your TCS exam. So let's see how we are going to solve friends. So in time, speed and distance, the basic formula is distance is equal to speed into time. I can write down here. So distance will be equal to speed into time. So this is the first concept will be used in the time, speed and distance. And the second concept friends and the second concept will be relative speed. So now what is this relative speed? So friends this relative speed will be if two trains are moving in the same direction and suppose the speed of a vehicle you take. So if two vehicles are moving in the same direction with S1 and S2 speed then if the direction is same then S for same and S for subtract. So you have to you have to subtract the speed and if both the vehicles are moving in the opposite direction if both the vehicles are moving in the opposite direction then the speed you have to add then the relative speed will be then the relative speed will be addition of both the speed so this is the basic concept friends which will be used in time speed and distance now let's move towards the question and try to solve here so when we are driving along a highway at constant speed of 55 miles per hour you observe a car one half mile behind you the car is moving fast and zooms past you exactly one minute later. How fast is the car traveling if the speed is constant? So friends, there is one car 1 is there and car 2 is there. So we are driving along a highway at a constant speed of 55 miles per hour. So car 1 a speed is friend, car 1 a speed is friends 55 miles per hour and then friends car 2 if you see car 2 speed we have to calculate so car 2 speed we have to calculate so this i have assumed as h2 only now we are driving along a highway at a constant speed of 55 miles per hour you observe a car one half mile behind you so we are observing a car which is half mile behind which is half miles behind so suppose this car the car one has traveled how much distance x distance and then we are seeing see when the car one was here then the car one saw behind one car is coming which is 0.5 miles away so i can say friends car one the distance traveled is so car one will travel x in the same time car two will cover what car two will cover x plus 0.5 x plus 0.5 why friends because car two here friends because car two here friends in one minute car 2 will pass car 1. See they are clearly telling the car is moving fast. So that means the car 2 is moving fast and it, it crosses the car 1 or it passes the car 1 one minute within one minute one minute later. So the car 2 will be able to cover x plus 0.5 miles of distance. Now friends I know the formula distance will be speed into time. So distance if you will see friends then the distance the difference of distance between car and car 2 in the one minute car one will cover x miles whereas the car two will cover x plus 0.5 miles so the difference between that will be 0.5 miles and speed friends so a speed will be relative speed both are moving in the same direction then relative speed will become s2 minus s1 because car two speed is car two speed is more car two speed is more and time if you'll see then time is what friends time is one minute then time is what one minute now s1 so s2 minus s1 so s1 is what friends so s1 you can see 55 miles per hour and then friends it will become 0.5 miles per minute this minute will go that side so 0.5 uh, miles per minute will become the speed now s2 will be equal to uh, 55 miles per hour plus this is 0.5 miles per minute if you want to convert into hour then you will have to multiply with 60 then friends here 55 miles per hour plus uh, 30 miles per hour then the total then the speed of the car 2 will be then the this will be not miles per hour this will be also miles per hour this will be also miles per hour so 85 miles per hour 85 miles per hour will be the speed of the car 2 friends 
and option D will be the correct answer for question number one and this is a very important question for your exam friends. Now moving towards the question number two which is also a very important question. So friends question number two you can see the length of the question is nothing but seven line question. So seven line question so by seeing the length of the question you don't have to get afraid by seeing the length of the question you don't have to get afraid this question will be only two lines this question will have only two line solution. So within one or two line we can solve this question and this is a easiest question. So friends please do not leave this question in the exam and then come back because this kind of the questions will be easiest question please read it and then you will be able to solve this question instantly. So in the IT department of backup the administrator password is changed every month. The team of administrator speed uh, spread this is a spread. So the team of administrator uh, spread across the globe receive an eight digit number via email. This number is to be prefixed with a single digit number and suffix with a single digit number to get the actual password. The password is divisible by 11 and 8. If the team received this password this month then which of the following pairs gives prefix and suffix respectively. Friends let me uh, explain you the question once again. So there is one IT department is there which is changing the password administrator password every month. So which is changing the admin administrator password every month right okay now and it is sending via email. Now this number whatever number the IT department is uh, sending that number is having a prefix and a suffix and a prefix and a suffix right okay the password is divisible by 11 and 8 and this password is divisible by 11 and 8 and that will become the actual password so you have to calculate you have to get that actual password and that password should be divisible by 11 and 8 so what number so what number the it department is sending to the team so 6531364 and now one prefix prefix means before and one suffix and one suffix is getting added and this will become my actual password and this will become my actual password and the actual password will be divisible by and this actual password will be divisible by uh, 11 and 8. Now friends so what is the divisibility rule of 8 and 11 that you should know. So what is the divisibility rule of 8 and 11 that you should know. So if a number is divisible by 11 then the last three digit will be divisible by 11. So you can see if the last three digit is 168 then last three digit is divisible by 8 then the number will be divisible by 8. And now what is the divisibility rule of 11? So if you have a number suppose if you have a number 2, 6 and 4 then difference of then difference of sum of alternate number then different of difference of sum of alternate number if it is 0 or multiple of 11 that means that number is divisible by that means that number is divisible by 11. Now friends you see we have the suffix if it is divisible by it is divisible by 8 then the last three digits should be divisible by 8. So let's put option A. So if we we'll put 9 then this will not be divisible by 8. 8 is 14 and then it will not be divisible by A. So option uh, 8 so option A is eliminated. Now option B. So option B you see friends 6, 4, 8 the last three digit. So this you see 8, 8 ja and 8, 1 ja. So yes option B may be your answer. Then you see 4. So if you are putting last digit suffix as 4 then 8, 8 ja 64 and this will also not be divisible by 8. So no need to check uh, with 11. So option B will be your correct answer. But anyway we will put this value and try to check if it is divisible by 11 or not. So P prefix I will put 7, 6. 53513648 and this is my actual password and this is my actual password. Now this number is already divisible by 8 because the last three digit is divisible by uh, 8. Now the uh, divisibility rule of 11. So add it 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20 and 20 plus 4 is 24. So sum of alternate number is 24. Now again you find it out this 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16 and 16 plus 8 is 24 and the difference is 0. Yes, this number is divisible by this number is divisible by 8 and 11 both. So you can say the actual password will be you can say the actual password will be this one and this is what IT department uh, 
this IT department will send this and prefix and suffix will be 7 and 8. So friends, I hope these questions are clear for you and these questions are very simple and these kind of questions are only getting asked in the NQT exam. So this is Pratik Sraswa here, wishing you all the best for your exam. Thank you.